It's important to know that there is no actual cure for dengue virus. We don't have an antiviral that can kill the virus. Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Lum. I'm a pediatrician at One Life Pediatrics. I'm also the Vice President of the Guam Korean Chamber of Commerce. I'm sure you've heard a lot about dengue in the news, and I thought it might be helpful to just share some of the teaching points that I tell my patients so that we can have an understanding of what dengue is, what the risks are, and how we can protect ourselves. Dengue is a virus that's transmitted by mosquitoes and affects humans. I want to stress that for the vast majority of people that get infected with dengue for the first time, it's usually not life-threatening, and for most people, you might not even know that you have dengue virus. Symptoms include a high fever of 104 degrees. You can cause some headaches, some nausea, some vomiting. Some certain symptoms, though, that are a little bit different for dengue include pain into the bones. You might have pain behind your eyes, and you might get a very particular rash where it looks like some of the spots in the rash are missing the red part. We call, those, we call that rash a rash with islands of sparing. Dengue becomes very dangerous, the subsequent infections. So there are four strains of dengue, and the first time you get bit by a mosquito with dengue, you'll have your reaction, you'll have your fever, your rash possibly, and then you'll develop antibodies. And so with that one strain that you got bitten, you'll be fully protected against that other strain. After you get bit, you will have symptoms for up to a week, and you will be able to spread the virus to other people via mosquitoes for about four to five days, although that can be as long as 12 days. However, the second time you get bit by mosquito, if it isn't by the exact same strain and one of the other three strains, for mechanisms that we're, scientists are still not completely understanding, it seems to be able to trick the immune system and get more viruses into the body quicker and faster which means the virus replicates much faster into the body, creating a much more severe reaction as your body's trying to fight off the virus. This is called severe dengue fever, or hemorrhagic dengue fever. When this happens, we can have our blood vessels actually become a little bit leaky, and we lose fluid in the blood that can cause dangerous drops in blood pressure, which medically we call shock. And we can also lose platelets in our blood and platelets are responsible for stopping bleeding, and so we can have uncontrolled bleeding. When this happens, if it goes unrecognized or untreated, mortality rates can be as high as 20%. Thankfully, with quick recognition and, and treatment, uh, mortality rates can be um, down to about 1%. It's important to know that there is no actual cure for dengue virus. We don't have an antiviral that can kill the virus, which means treatment is largely supportive. If you get severe dengue fever, you will be admitted to the hospital and we'll have to adjust and help with your fluids and your blood pressure. With the mild illness of dengue for the first time, that means that uh, we just treat the symptoms, we'll give um, pain relievers, fever medicine, and the virus and the fever will just largely go away by itself. In severe cases of dengue, um, this would require hospitalization as we will really need to have a close watch on your fluids and blood pressure. Because there's no cure for dengue, prevention is vital in preventing dengue fever. This means we need to have really good watch of over any standing water on our property. We need to uh, wear protective clothing when we go out if you think there's going to be mosquitoes. Uh, mosquito spray can be helpful, although for younger babies, I really don't like recommending spray, so really it's important to keep them just covered with clothing. If you're experiencing high fevers, bone pain, muscle aches, pain behind the eyes, but you feel relatively okay, I think it's a good idea to make an appointment with your regular doctor, ask if you think it might be reasonable for you to get tested for dengue. However, if you are experiencing persistent vomiting, persistent abdominal pain, persistent bleeding, it might be more prudent to go directly to the emergency room where they can work you up. Thank you for watching. I hope you found the information helpful. Please tag and share with your friends and family so that we can all do our best to protect ourselves from dengue. For more information, please visit the CDC website at cdc.gov dengue.